Hello there and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. I'm Carol. If you're running clinical drug trials, safety monitoring is an obligation and a requirement by regulations. In this video, we'll go over the responsibilities of a sponsor and an investigator when it comes to safety reporting in the EU. Stay tuned. Today, our focus is on drug studies. In clinical trials with medicinal products, reporting is done electronically to this database. Um, let's start with the responsibilities of the investigator in safety monitoring during the clinical trial. Pay attention to the terms adverse events or AEs and serious adverse events or SAEs. By now, you should be familiar with the definitions of these two terms from our previous video. If not, click on the link above. The investigator is required to report adverse events and safety adverse events to the sponsor as follows. One, all AEs including laboratory abnormalities that are identified in the protocol as critical to the safety evaluation. Also, all SAEs occurring to subjects treated by the investigator in the clinical trial unless the protocol states differently. The second point is all SAEs should be reported within 24 hours of knowledge of the events unless for certain SAE the protocol states that no immediate reporting is required. Third, when relevant, the investigator shall send a follow-up report to the sponsor to allow the sponsor to assess whether the SAE has an impact on the benefit-risk balance of the clinical trial. Fourth, even when the SAE with a suspected causal relationship to the IMP, investigation or medicinal product, that occurs after the end of the clinical trial in a subject treated by the investigator, the investigator shall, without undue delay, report the SAE to the sponsor. Let's move on to the responsibilities of a sponsor in safety reporting. The sponsor is required to keep detailed records of all AEs which occurred during the clinical trial of which they have been notified by the investigators in that trial. The sponsor should assess the information received from the investigator and report safety information on SAEs which are suspected unexpected serious adverse reactions or SUSA to the European Medicines Agency via the UDRA Vigilance Database. These should also be reported as follows. First, all suspected unexpected serious adverse reactions to the IMPs occurring in that clinical trial irrespective of whether the SUSA occurred at a clinical trial site in a member state or in a third country. Secondly, all SUSAs considered as related to the IMP, regardless of the pharmaceutical form, strength or indication investigated of the IMPs used in the clinical trial occurring in a member state or exclusively in a third country. Third, all SUSAs to the IMP occurring in any of the subjects of the clinical trial which are identified by or come to the attention of the sponsor after the end of the clinical trial. The reporting timelines thereafter also varies. Some require expedited reporting depending on the seriousness of the SUSA, that is, whether it was fatal, life-threatening, non-fatal or non-life-threatening, or whether it was initially considered as non-fatal, non-life-threatening and turned out to be fatal or life-threatening. The sponsor is also required to submit an annual safety report, that's the Development Safety Update Report, on each investigational medicinal product other than a placebo to the competent authority and ethics committee. The main objective of this report is to present a comprehensive, thoughtful annual review and evaluation of safety information collected during the reporting period related to an IMP. As a main rule, separate reports may be prepared for each IMP of a combination and data on clinical trial safety can be included in each report. In general, a single development safety update report should be prepared for clinical trials involving a development of combination product. In exceptional cases, for example academic studies, a single DSUR for the trial may also be prepared for multi-drug therapy. And that's it today on patient safety reporting in drug studies. Remember, it's all about the subject safety and protection. See you next time. Goodbye. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe. But most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.